Hey everyone, welcome to another Minecraft computational video. There we're going over the Fibonacci machine, the Fib machine, however you call it, which is basically a machine that calculates the digits of the Fibonacci sequence, which is 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and so on. You might have seen it somewhere. It's a pretty famous code. Uh, now, as a precursor to this video, I do suggest episodes 1, 3, and 8 of Mad Bad Wing's logical redstone series. Uh, and of course, if you like the video, like, subscribe, leave a comment, feedback is always welcome, and join my Discord. Now, without further ado, let's get straight into it. As we know, the Fibonacci sequence goes 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. So well, let's go off of that. How does it get those numbers? We have 1, and we have a 0, right? If we add those numbers, then it is 1, right? So we write that to the second value. Then it is 1 and 1, which is 2. So we write that to the first value, 2 and 1, which is 3. So we write that to the second value. And then we have 5. So we write that to this one. So then we have 8. So we write that to this one. And we just repeat that sequence. But how would we do that with computational redstone? Well, over here we have a very basic schematic. What it does, it basically adds two numbers, right? and it writes them to either RAM A or RAM B. Now how RAM works, basically I have a very basic design here. It remembers when you write to it, what was inputted, right? So how we do it is by writing to A, which is one plus zero, right? For example, you set A to one, and you add those automatically. The other one adds them automatically. And it outputs to the both of these. But it doesn't write to any because you haven't told it to. So that is going to be 1 plus 0. And then you write that to B, which is 1 plus 1. And then you have 2, and it loops. And you write to A, and so on. Well, let's make it. Uh, behind me, you see my adder. Now, I urge you to make your own circuits for this, because it's great for practice. But for this sake, uh, here's mine. It uses single string 0 to 3 to just know which it has to turn on. Pretty compact, and it functions well. Now, why two inputs are on this side and one is on this side? Because this is the carry and so that's going to be looping around. And this is the A and B. As you see here, that does actually work. So that is 1, which is the sign. 2 cancels the sign and does that. And 3 does both. Now the RAM here, it works of a pretty simple process. Basically, it remembers what was input at last. So right now, as you see, it is 1. So it remembers 1. But if I shut this off, it remembers 0. So after putting all of that together, it looks something like this. Now we want to be able to actually clear the fib machine. So that's why I added this circuit right here. What it does, it just stops the values from going through, right? So if you want to reset it, you just stop the addition and you write to both of the rounds. So I've gone ahead and stack it. And as you see down there, there is actually control lines. This is right B, this is right A, and this is the cancellation system we talked about. Now as you see, there is no way to control the addition. That is because we don't actually need to for this system. It's automatic, as it does not write to either of the RAMs automatically. Now over here, we actually have a problem. The carries are not connected. This is also where we have to decide if our system will ripple up or ripple down. Now, it just so happens to be that a setup like this is optimal for us, as the signal strength is perfect so that it only ripples one upwards. So if you check that, that is one plus one. Signal strength comes in here, it reaches up to here with a signal of one, and it does not reach to the next one. Now, as the last carryout is an access bit, it just gets rippled up here. Now, even though the world download will be in the description, well, uh, the schematic, I do urge you to make your own design. It's very good for practice. It's basically a diet CPU. And without further ado, let's get to testing it. Now, as this design does ripple upwards, I've taken the liberties of writing one to the round set A down here at the bottom. If you check, we now wrote to A, which one plus zero is one. So if we write to B, that is now one plus one, which is two. We rewrite to A again, That is exactly three. Now we should be seeing five, which is exactly what happens. Now this is infinitely stackable, uh, and I do urge you to experiment with it. Now, of course, to clear it, you just cancel addition, which cancels that there, and you write to both RAM sets.
recap this is the adder it adds a plus b it, uh, it puts out a carry out and a sign bit which is this right here which is registered the carry out ripples upwards and then go we then go here and we tell it to remember to either ram a or ram b after which you have a cancellation in case you want to clear it so we would cancel the addition and write zero to both of them the values here then loop back into the addition and process again now that's everything i had to say for this video happy fibonacci calculating and have a good day